Hello everyone, what is up? Today I will be doing my Create Survival series. Today we will be making a mechanical mixer. Along with this setup, this allows you to craft many important resources. Anyway, let's jump right into it with our crafting. So, the first thing we're going to need is a mixer, so let's check JEI for that. So, we're going to need a whisk, and do you remember that mechanical press we made yesterday? Now's the time to use it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go out here. Let's go ahead and grab our, let's go ahead and grab our, uh, here you are. We're going to throw out five of these, and we're going to make five iron sheets, because that's what the recipe requires. So let's go to our mechanical press. As you can see, I spruced up this workshop a bit. One, two, three, four, five. And wait for those to press as the press goes balk. Ha ha. Anywho, I'm just going to do a bit of upgrading here. Upgrade these bits and blobs. No crap, still need to. Well, after those crush, then we should be good to go for the whisk. Let's go back here and then let's see, is there anything else I need from out here? Let's go grab our let's go grab our crafting stuff. So I'm gonna need my cogwheels, my casing, my owl, and grab the Anyway, we're going to need to make a lot more alloys because, yeah, we're also going to be using a basin in this, and that's what you need alloys for that. So let's go ahead and put this, like so, then, no, wait, I forgot the whisk. Okay, no, yeah, like I said, I'm going to need some alloys, but, yeah, let's go ahead and grab some andesite. I really need to build a centralized storage system, but again, this is kind of early game, and I don't have the resources for that. Really agitating. I mean, hello? Half of the roof of my house is made of dirt. Yeah. Anyway. But it functions, at least. So, let's go ahead and just make another... Let's make another set of nuggets. Now let's do this. Let's make another five alloys. And I'm just going to quickly turn those into a basin. All you need to do, and boom. The basin is what stores the stuff that we're mixing. So then let's make a yeah, I wonder if you can make nuggets with iron sheets. Nope. Strange. Very strange. Alright. One, two, three, four. So, boom. Let's go ahead and make that whisk. Now, the whisk does not actually serve any purpose other than crafting. There are a bunch of things in there like that. Let's go ahead and make this mixer. The special thing about the mixer is it requires a certain amount of RPM. But after that, we're going to need to craft a bit more things. So let's go ahead and make a couple large and small cogwheels along with some gearboxes. But in order to do that, let's... Make a couple of these. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna make a couple casing because, you know, I'm running low on that. It's always good to have a large amount of resources in Create, as especially when you're building larger gadget setups. I like calling them gadgets. But yeah, as you build these larger setups, there it's gonna be very resource requiring. Like, later I'm going to make an iron farm. I'll show you guys how to do that, and that's going to be really useful. But anyway, so... Now let's... 
we're going to need to make Wait, and that means more alloys. Yeah, this this requires so much alloy, honestly. It's so annoying. But yeah, anywho. Boom. Boom. So let's go ahead and do this. And slide around. Cog wheel it. Let's make another casing set. And boom. And then we're gonna turn these into gearboxes later, so yeah. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to make some large cog wheels after this. But yeah, so. Then let's turn you guys into some gearboxes. And boom, you're going to need a couple left over, so that's why I did that. But lastly, let's just make our large cogwheels. And open Kabang. Hello everyone. I am back. And now we are going to begin constructing our mechanical mixer set. Anyway, so let's go. So, the strange thing about the mechanical mixer is that it must be run at a higher RPM. Otherwise, it does not function. I mean, it'll still display the rotating animation and all that good stuff, but it will not actually go. So, in order to increase the RPM, we're going to place a large cogwheel like so, and then standard cogwheel. Now, the reason behind this is because two, because one rotation of the large cogwheel is two rotations of the small cogwheel, therefore doubling the RPM, and if you were to do in reverse, then yeah, having it. So, we're going to go ahead and place our mixer right here. Let's go ahead and just place our basin at the bottom. Let's place a large cogwheel, or wait, nope. That's not the right size. Let's place a small cogwheel, like such. So let's grab some of our gearboxes. Let's make them vertical. Okay, I'm just gonna tower up there real quick. And so boom and boom. Now let's do that, and we have our setup fully complete. So then you can also use this as a little filter for that. So, yeah. so you can determine what recipe it does because this actually has this actually is used for shapeless crafting. Anyway, let's find an example of how this works. So I think I should be able to nope. Sweet berries do not make red dye, but let me go. Okay, so I have a dandelion. That'll be my yellow dye. And let us go get. Oh, well, there's some roses. Red dye. Oh, doggy. Is that where I thought that was? That would have been nice. Anyway. And again, these BSL shaders are like 
totally. I love them. The animations, it just makes Minecraft so, feel so alive. But, anyway. So now we have our dyes, fill our flowers. Let's just craft this one to dye the poppy. So as you can see, we have two of these. And also later here, we're going to put something called a blaze burner, which allows for more recipes because it acts as a heat source. But, so let's go ahead, throw this in, and then boom, that it. And as you can see, as soon as that's done, oh, wait, what? Okay. Doesn't yellow and red make orange? Okay, maybe I'll need a blue and I can make purple. But, yeah. I mean, I'm still kind of new to the video editing, so I'd normally cut all of this out. But, you know. Again, I am just digging these shaders. Anywho. Jump the ravine. Ah, yes. Cornflower. Much better. Okay, that was just pure dream. Like, not falling into the ravine after jumping at it with, like, 10 FPS. That is just... Oh, my God. Anywho, let's do... Band. Yeah, I'm not so lucky this time. Yeah, I'm also just kind of doing a little farm, because I have nothing better to do... I'm just holding the torch in the wrong hand. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab you. I believe this should work. So if I go like this, and this, it'll mix the two dyes together. Okay. What the? Ah! Anywho, throw that in. And throw that in. Oh, this is not rotating with enough speed. That's what's going on. So we're gonna need to double our RPM again, it looks like. I made a mistake. Let's go ahead and take all this all this stuff out. So the easiest way to do that while remaining in the same kind of area is to go just your boxes are rather valuable early game in this because you know just it's yeah they have a lot of resources to make but so I go like that then boom should work what the That is beyond strange. Okay, maybe I go like this. This is baffling. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Torch! And go. Let's fix this gadget. Uh, so let's go like this. This. And boom, that should do it. So as I was saying, it mixes the two things together and we can create something new. So if I throw in a blue dye and a red dye. Oh, it's 
keep missing the target. Weird. So boom, mix. Mixing it up. And I have two purple dye. But yeah, that just about sums it up for today. So yeah, see you next episode. And again, this is a mechanical mix. Your setup. This is Jack Attack 746, signing off.